What's good, y'all? It's your boy, JR. Swag Life TV. Got a banger video for y'all. You know what I mean? Got some Buffalo Wild Wings. You dig? You know, I already kind of started eating. You feel me? We got that lemon pepper on deck. Man, today has been a truly, 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 extremely tiring day. But, you know what y'all getting into tonight. Also, I want to shout out to the graduates, man, that's graduating, or the debt, that has already graduated. You know what I mean? Congratulations. Enjoy your summer. You know, and just make the most of the journey that you're about to embark on, you know. But we're gonna get into that another time. You did. But man, what's going on with y'all tonight? Let me tell you. So wifey puts the order in for the buffalo, right? Oh, let me say this before I continue. I don't know if the Buffalo Wild Wings in y'all area is the same. But the one where we live, we don't eat that ad very often. You know what I mean? But when we do, got the fried pickles. Potato wedges. You know what I'm saying? We eat they ass spur of the moment. Because if you don't specifically put it in your order the way that you would normally eat wings from anywhere else, then uh, you might as well get ready to enjoy evening in the ER. But, you know. Everybody cook wings differently. Some people might like them like that. Some might not. I personally don't. But. Wifey calls and put the order in. And they tell her on the phone. Okay, it's going to be 15 minutes. So, I'm already out running errands. Things like that. So, I'm like, I bet. So, I just go up there. As I head back to my side of town. And I get to there. I'm thinking. Okay, yeah, I'm probably going to have to wait. Five. Seven minutes. Because like I said, you do have kids graduating. You know what I mean? Kids want to go out to eat. Shit like that. So, long story short. I get some damn grant. I'm on the phone with wife, okay? We had already been on the phone like 15 minutes. Okay, so I get up there. I get told, let me check on your order. So I'm like, okay. So the waitress or the cashier comes back and tells me, yo, I don't know where well, she didn't say it like that. Well, I don't know what's going on in this, that, and the third. So I'm I'm noticing all these people come in, you know what I'm saying, waiting to be seated and all of that. So it is what it is, right? So 15 minutes go by. 20 minutes go by. And so pretty much at this point, I'm getting pissed because I'm like, yo, what the fuck is the deal? Where is my food? You talk to my wife on the phone 15 minutes, and here it is. I've been in here 30 minutes. So, also before I forget, you know what I'm saying, comment, like, share, subscribe. 
we're gonna have that exclusive content coming for y'all. We're gonna have them mukbangs, pranks, advice, vlogs, you know what I mean? The whole nine. So, pretty much, got the water on deck. Shout out to my boy Larry from The Journey of the Joneses. But, long story short, so instead of her offering me something to drink, I have to ask, okay? Horrible customer service. Now granted, the food was hot, you feel me? But, that's the only thing that was really good about the experience. Because like I said, we don't eat Buffalo Wild Wings that often. Every time I've ever gone up there, it's always been wall-to-wall -wall traffic. Nowhere to park. None of that. So, it's all good. So, I guess up there tonight. And considering how with all the events and everything like that going on in the area, you know what I mean? Check this out. Look at this one right here. Look at all that lemon pepper salt. All that lemon pepper season. Yeah. Like I said, considering what's going on and everything like that. One of the kids walking in the kitchen. It was pretty easy to find somewhere to park. So, like I said, I guess in, I see all these people walking in, out, leaving, people being sat, people being waiting to be seated. Basically, I had to wait like 30 minutes for my food. It was all good because, like I said, it ain't like they just had a nigga in that wing and shit like that. So, it's all good. But, yeah, man. Shouts. Congratulations to the graduates of 2019. Enjoy your summer. Make the most of the journey that you're about to embark upon going to college. I hope all the graduates are going to college. Me, myself, I went to college. Two different ones. Not to boast or brag. But it's all good. You know. And the funny thing about it, y'all, I didn't used to be a big wing eater. I don't know. I guess it was when I was younger. Seeing the way my mother prepared the chicken. You know what I'm saying? What all she had to do. Because my mother was one of those people. She wouldn't buy the packs of chicken wings. You know what I'm saying? She would buy the whole chicken and cut that joint up just like Walmart do with the rotisserie. So she would clean it. All of that. But. Crazy thing. I didn't really, like I said, become a real big chicken eater. Really with a lot of food that I eat today. I didn't become a fan of that food until me and my wife got together. And uh, we've been together 14 years, so I guess it's true. They say the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Because wifey can throw down. Y'all going to see that in upcoming videos and everything like that. So I'm going to try to get a seafood video out to y'all in the next couple of days. You know. Seeing that that was the first, first video I posted. Talking about that season. Okay, we back. Let's start recording. But it's all good. I'm just going to have to edit them joints together. But, hey, man. Comment down below and tell me what your favorite wings are from wing, from uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. Buffalo Wild Wings, wing stop. Your favorite chicken joint in your area. Whatever it is. Like I said, I'm a fan of lemon pepper. But, you know, I don't do too many spicy foods. I do, but I have to suffer the consequences for, you know what I'm saying, trying to do that shit later. 
but it's all good. I don't know too many Puerto Ricans. Puerto Rican and black over here. I don't know too many Puerto Ricans that can, uh, that eat or enjoy spicy food. You know what I mean? That ain't speaking for the ones back in the homeland, Puerto Rico, but just let me know, man. You know, with this video, man, comment, subscribe to the channel, Swag Life TV. Like I said, we're going to come with that exclusive content, mukbangs, pranks, advice, vlogs, you know what I'm saying? Stealing a little bit from my, uh, from my boy Larry from Journey of the Joneses, you know, sipping talks. In my case, it might be a puffing talk, you know what I mean? Shout out to all my weed heads out there. And as far as that, man, I mean... What, 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 what are y'all feelings on it? Should y'all feel it though? Or do y'all feel it though that marijuana should be completely legalized? You know what I mean? In all 50 states? Or what? I mean, they decriminalized it here. So basically, regardless of the amount that you get caught with, Unless they know without a shadow of a doubt that uh, you got intent to distribute. You know what I mean? You just gonna get like a little citation, a little ticket, just like you would if you got caught speeding or whatever. But, I guess those are the wheels of progress. You know what I mean? They've always been slow. But you know, man, I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with it. I smoked it all through college. Still smoke it today. You feel me? It don't care if brain is hair like they say it do. Like I said, graduated from two colleges. Dean's list and the president's list at both. You know what I mean? Bachelor's degree in business administration. Associate's degree in HVAC, heat and ventilation, and air conditioning. You know what I mean? But, like I said, man, I mean, the wheels of progress is slow. But, it's all good. Shit, I, I ain't know how many wings wifey had ordered. And I've only eaten three. And it looked like I got 20 more to go, so. So it's good, man. Yo. Also, tell me what y'all think about... I don't know if y'all familiar with the case or whatever. But... Tell me what y'all think about... Um, Gypsy Rose Blanchard, man. Like I said, I don't know if you're familiar with the case or not. But, if you're not, Lifetime came out with a movie called Love You to Death. I don't know if some of y'all seen it or not. Good picture. You know what I mean? But, man, Wifey had caught the series on Hulu. Very good series. Whoever was behind it, they did their homework. You know what I mean? Of course, with it being... A true crime story. For those that don't like true crime stories, I'm an addict for that shit. You know what I mean? But for those that don't like them, you might want to get into them. You know what I mean? I don't watch much TV, but the things that I do watch, you know what I mean? Those are like my guilty pleasures. Of course, being from New York, New York Giants football, New York Knicks basketball. And I don't care what nobody say. The Knicks is still my team. Win, lose, or draw. The Giants is still my team. Win, lose, or draw. But, like I said, man, I mean, I'm getting back to the topic. 
I don't want to spoil nothing for y'all, but I got to tell y'all a little bit about it in order for you to get it. So, they were originally from New Orleans. Got displaced Hurricane Katrina back in 05. So, they pretty much bounced around from New Orleans to Texas. And finally, landed in Missouri, Springfield. Springfield, Missouri. And, uh, so, instead of going out getting a job, you know what I mean, like, the average person would do, the mother, she decides to jip the system. And, uh, it's crazy. You know what I mean? Like I said, the documentary about the real story is on uh, Amazon Prime. So if you got Smart TV, Xbox, PS4, you got Hulu, Amazon Prime, Netflix, you got any of those downloaded on your TV, gaming system, Smart TV, whatever. You know what I mean? It's a real good picture. But... I'm going uh, to end this video, man. Just want to uh, do a quick little banger for y'all. You know what I mean? Like I said at the beginning, it's your boy JR. Swag like TV. You dig? Bring y'all that exclusive content. Don't forget to comment, like, share. Subscribe to the channel. And, uh, you know, man. Like I said, gonna get that seafood video out for y'all. That seafood mukbang. Anything like that. So, uh, until next time, man. Stay splashy. Tell your haters no swag jacking. You feel me? And, uh, love, live life. Peace out.